Final race on the program is a good one. It's a class two over the 1200 metres, packed with quality from top to bottom. Starting off with Archippus, who was fourth behind Premier last time out. That was over the thousand, gets up to the 1200. Strathmore's from a group two into a class two. Born in China, was a runner up behind uh, Premier. Super Turbo's first up. Pabloski runner up behind the very progressive little giant last time out. Spotlight Dream up in class. A winner on debut on the All Weather. And Starlight, he's up in class um, as well. He's won his last three starts. He looks very impressive. Uh, back at the touchscreen to have a look at this one, uh, John. And uh, Starlight, well, if he's going to do it, he's drawn perfectly here for his first start in this company, barrier one. Yeah, he should be able to take a, a sit of a pretty strong pace. Uh, that pace will almost certainly come from Pabloski over here. He ran a really terrific race for a long time on the all-weather last time. That perpetual treasure also likes uh, to go forward as well, has done in the past. And uh, this fellow here, Spotlight Dream, is interesting. Uh, he went forward sort of a bit later on in his race on his debut on the all-weather. Interesting to see where he goes to. But uh, there's plenty of pace. One horse that will definitely be sitting off that pace is Super Turbo back here. He likes to leave things late for a real lashing late run. He does. He's come back 33 pounds heavier than he was at the back end of uh, last season, Paul. But uh, have they looked at track work? Well, he doesn't look too bad for it. Look, look at this gallop from him. He was really stretching out nice here. Brett Preble aboard, lashing down the home straight there <laughs> as he comes down. And uh, I thought it was a, a nice gallop. You could see he's put on 33 three pounds it was, it was a lightly framed horse before and so the 33 looks okay as far as my naked eyes shows anyway spotlight dream now he worked very well on the um all weather and he's already won on that surface he's never raced on turf before this horse he came from france had all his starts on uh, poly tracks etc so he's he's an interesting runner on turf the first time because he trialed really well on it yeah, he certainly is. Uh, we'll come back to him in a second. Let's start things off, though, with uh, Starlight's carried all before him so far this season. Lightweight here, a new jockey, Chad Schofield. Starlight, Chad, can he make a four in a row on Wednesday? I hope so. He, um, he's in career best form. He's pulled gate one. He's got a lightweight, and on the B course, he's going to get his chance. And, um, you know, he's, he's been very impressive in a lower grade, and he's now races some, some quality horses, but you can't fault what he's done in recent times and um, you'll be right there again. You rate him in his first three race stats and he didn't do much looking at the form there. You've ridden him in a piece of work recently. Does he feel like a different horse? Yeah, my, uh, much more mature, much stronger. I've always liked the horse um, and I was quite baffled as to how he, why he didn't kick off straight away but now he's showing his true potential and I'm glad to be back on him. Yeah, Zach's been on board for the last uh, couple of wins and he's done it pretty easily. If he's going to win in this company, Barry won at 114, will be 115 pounds on his back is the time he's going to do it, isn't he? He's it? got the favours, isn't he? He keeps improving this horse all the time, which is uh, obviously a good thing. He's up in grade now. I, I think he can run a good race once again. And he, 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 he had a perfect run last time, to be fair. All his favours, and he won nicely. But it looks like he could get that again. It's interesting as well. He's never run in Class 2 yet, but he's already run at a standard Class 2 time. So with the lightweight this time round, every chance he's going to run very well. Yeah, it is a good race, though. There's plenty of quality in here. Let's have a look at a few of the, uh, the others. And we'll start off with uh, Born in China. Um, now, here he is. He's slightly hidden, in actual fact, behind uh, Premier as we pick it up. The other horse is uh, to take uh, note of. We've got uh, Archippus, who's doing his thing, swings wide into the straights. And uh, the other one being uh, Blocker D. Yep, Blocker D and Archippus, two, uh, well, uh, renowned closers, and Archippus has got a terrific record at Happy Valley, and he hasn't been too far away from things at the start of this season and the back end of last, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see him run well. This is a really good effort from Bourne in China. He's a horse that's had his problems, got loads of talent. I'm just slightly concerned he might uh, get a bit of the old second-up syndrome after this, but I think he can go well. He's had foot problems, hasn't he, ever since he's been here in Hong Kong, and that's been as sort of the, the reason it's been held back. He's still won a few races over here. Uh, he came with the high class form from Ascot, Royal Ascot. I thought he hit the line nicely enough in this race. Mr. Genuine's has since franked the form. He is mm. quite a good yardstick, so he'll run well. But he's even money at the moment. He's far too short for him. Yeah, he's come up short. I think that the step up and trip uh, will suit him. Uh, this is the horse we've we've talked about already. About all his starts in France on the all weather. This was his first up effort. Jumped to the front. Um, Zach controlled it from here, and he looked very impressive. He was, I, uh, yeah, I think he was impressive. And I, uh, look, I think he can run okay on the turf. I really liked his turf trial. If you get a chance, have a look at that down a straight 1000. That was his uh, only time he's run on the turf here in Hong Kong, or well, one of his trials anyway. And Sam Clibberton rode him on that occasion. I thought he went really well. I really like the way this horse lengthened out. He, he's coming with all his polytech form. He could be a very well rated horse in this race. 
He's also bred to get a little bit further than sprint distances, so he's definitely one, whatever happens on Wednesday night, to keep an eye on future races. Yeah, and that's Spotlight Dream as well, if I didn't mention his uh, name. So interesting making this switch uh, to Happy Valley and uh, the turf, but... Again, if he can build on this, then he's certainly got to be a, a major player. Uh, one more race, uh, one more trial to take a, a check of uh, here. And uh, the horses we're going to focus on on this occasion, Archippus. Now, he's out in front in this trial. I know he's drawn wide. I just wonder whether he'll be try and be positive and kick on. But uh, the other horses uh, to take uh, note of, we've got uh, Super Turbo doing his own thing out wide. And the other one is Perpetual Treasure, who's down here on the rail. Yeah, well, Perpetual Treasure always likes to, to get into the lead in the early stages. As you say, it's not necessarily uh, known for our kippers to get into a good position early, uh, but he, he does like Happy Valley. And Super Turbo is interesting for me, very interesting. If you look back through his form, some seriously good runs last year around the likes of uh, Southern Legend, one or two others as well. And he's really clocked some fantastic final sectionals. If he can produce something like that, albeit the, the, with the weight issue, I think he's going to go very, very well. And he's hitting the line nicely here. Yeah, it's a good super turbo. If he gets the race run to suit, he's going to be right in this race. I, don't, I wouldn't be worried about that weight he's put on. Mm. Our kippers, though, could they do that? Could they try and kick on? Well, they, well, he has got speed over that straight 1,000 before, but his normal racing style is to go back. Well, he kicked away there. I was quite yeah. impressed with that. But uh, so it's a really good race to finish with, Paul. Yeah, really good. Time? I'm going to take a chance here with the Spotlight Dream. I, I really um, I really like this horse. And the way he won, it was great. And I don't think the turf's a problem for him. At $14, I think he's a way over. So I'm going to put him on top to beat Starlight. Uh, he's got to have all the favours. Super Turbo, we've talked about. Bought and tied are in there for fourth, but he's uh, going to come up He's come up a little bit shorter here at $2. So we're 11, 12, 5 and 3. But my play in this way, definitely each way the 11. Yeah, it's a really good race. I'm going to go with Super Turbo, though. I can't believe his price at the moment. I think he's going to be a little bit shorter than $14, but we'll wait and see. But you look at some of his Happy Valley form if you go onto the website. It's really, really good. He's only half a length behind Southern Legend. The two are absolutely charging home, making up ground hand over fist. He's an interesting horse, Super Turbo. He's a closer, but he really seems to prefer Happy Valley. And if they go a good speed, I think he's going to be there in the finish. Starlight, I think he can go well as well for the reasons that Paul mentioned. Born in China, I think will still go well, but a bit like Paul, I think he's too short. And Pabloski ran a, a mighty race last time out I think there's every chance that he'll, he'll blast out and he might take a little bit of overhauling but for me it's all about super turbo in this race all right it's all about starlight for me I think the winning run uh, continues but uh, we continue as well with uh, the stats uh, Paul and we're going to focus in Nashua Willow what's he been doing at Happy Valley yeah I said before he's, he's been riding like a man possessed especially at Happy Valley rides this course particularly well he, as you can see the first three rate of 41 percent he's had a few rides 44 but with eight wins uh, six seconds and four thirds. I think he can add to that on Wednesday night. So really good record there. Now with the horse we're going to focus on, who else but you? I quite like this horse. I think he can uh, be right on the pace and uh, run nicely. Brave Legends, another one he's on as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that one also uh, con contributes. So there's uh, two at chances just off the top of the head. All right, OK. And uh, the stats have been doing very well indeed, as have your best bets. Uh, Paul, another winner on the weekend. Who's on top this time? I'm going to go with California Joy. I think he's really well uh, positioned in this race. Barrier three, should be in the 1-1. One, one. 1650 is ideal. Matthew Tabrick knows the horse well. I think he's a strong horse. Downgraded, what more can you want? Uh, the long shot, I'm going to go with the Spotlight Dream. He's uh, $14, I think, at 460 a place. Uh, I know it's a tough race, the last race, but I think he's a really nice horse. He might have just snuck under the handicapper's guard here because he's won on those all weathers. So um, he might be a well-rated horse. Uh, Player of the day, though, in race number six, California Joy, my best. Brave legend, the National Willis stat as well. We'll throw him in. <laughs> and uh, Jade Fortune. So one, two and four for my uh, uh, exotic play of the day. Yeah, I'm leaving it uh, to the last uh, for me here. Super Turbo, I think he's got a great chance. And if he is the price he is at the moment, I think he's probably worthwhile having an each way save on him as well, because I think uh, $14 and 420 on the place line is extremely good value. Golden Harvest, the old boy, I think he can run well. The race will be run to Super Race 5, and from gate one, he'll get a lovely run. And uh, he, he's, he's still, he's a lighter former days, but he's still capable at this level at a big price. And California Joy and Brave Legend, two horses that will both give you a very good run for your money in race six. So why not QQP them? Deja vu there as far as the play is <laughs> concerned. Best bet for me, Mr Monty in race number four. Drops in class, gets a good draw. Matthew Chadwick, could be a good night for him. He's on Paul's as well. But uh, I think he can control things from the front. And the last, Strathmore for me, $38. He's a class act and looked like he was getting back to something like his best uh, last time out as well, Strathmore. 
He was three and a quarter off Mr. Stunning. He's $38 here at the moment. As far as the play's concerned, we'll work around uh, the last, so it's all as competitive as it is. Uh, 2, 3 and 12, the, uh, the QQP. Born in China, as we've touched on, has uh, come up pretty short, but I think Strathmore and Starlight are good prices there in the final event. So looking forward to that. It's the American Club Challenge Cup, the feature. We started with Joe Morrell, news on him. Um, just to let you know, there have been replacement riders lined up just in case. Uh, but he'll get a medical um, Wednesday morning when he lands. Yeah, that's the, that's the key. When he gets off the plane, the uh, medical doctor will just have a look at him, make sure he's OK. Uh, all reports from Joe is that he's pretty confident that he'll be able to uh, fulfil his riding engagements. Yeah, just soft tissue damage, I think, isn't it? Joe? Yeah, I think he's pretty short odds on to be riding. Yeah, hopefully he'll be back as well. All right, well, that's the show. Thanks for watching. On behalf of uh, Paul, John and the rest of the team, hopefully we'll see you at a happy valley when we will be racing tomorrow.